Hi everyone, so in this video which is part of the Node.js auto series, I'm going to be teaching you how to read from and write to Node.js files. So let's begin. First we're going to create two files. The first one is going to be our Node.js file. Just going to call that read file or read write. Let's call it read write dot js. Then I'm going to create a text file. Just going to call that hello dot text dot txt. So now we have two files, our Node.js file and our text file. Now let's open this folder inside VS Code. So here in our project folder in VS Code, we can see our hello.txt, which is a text file, and our readwrite.js. I'm just going to bump this view up a little bit so that you can see the code very well. Okay, this is good. Let's shift this to the side. Then open our read write.js file. For this exercise, we're going to need two of Node.js's core modules, and that will be first the FS module. So we say FS, which I believe is a file system module. So we're just going to bring that in with require. So require FS. Then we also need the path module, which is also a core Node.js module. So just going to include part here. Part is going to help us with the parts in our operating system so that we don't get it wrong. And when we move this code from let's say Linux to Windows, the parts would be written correctly. So the first thing we want to do is get the file or the part to our file. That is the lo.txt. So I'm just going to say const file part equal. Then I'm going to use the path model and call the join function of the part model and here we're going to call process dot cwd which i believe is for current working directory yes current working directory and inside that directory we're going to join that part or inside this function we're going to join that part with our lo dot txt file so that should give us the correct part on any platform so now that we have the part to our file, we're going to be writing to it and we're also going to read from it. Now the read and write functions from this FS module have two variants. You have the synchronous one and you have the asynchronous one. So just to have a feel of the two, we're going to be using the asynchronous write to write to our file. Then we'll use the synchronous read to read from our file. So the first thing we're going to be doing is writing to our file. And to do that, we just come down here and say fs.write file. Now this is the asynchronous version which is write file and this is a synchronous version which is the write file sync this kind of a convention with these functions when you see sync that's the that's the synchronous version if you don't see the sync suffix then it's the asynchronous version so we're just going to call this write file function let's put a parenthesis in there now the first let me get rid of this the first argument that will go into this is the path of the file which is our file part variable so i'm just going to say file part we have that logged in the second argument is what we want to write into the file all right now we're just going to write hello welcome to dev talk with fk so we write that and because it's the asynchronous version we have to provide the callback function and following the error first format, our callback function is going to take an error argument. And within this parentheses, we can do anything we want. So this helps us write to the file. And in case there's any error, we can pick it from here and handle it within this curly braces. So let's test that. I'm just going to save this file. Save this file. Then um, let's go back to our command line. In our command line, we're going to just run this file with node. We're going to run the read write file with node and see if we don't get any errors. Hit enter. It returns without any message, which is often a sign of success. And now if I pull up the folder containing this hello.txt, as you can see, opening up hello.txt, we now have the hello, welcome to dev talk with FK. Let me see if I can bump this up. Yeah. 
Hello, welcome to Dev Talk with FK. Now let's see what happens if this file didn't exist in the first place. Let's say I delete this. Let's move it to trash. And then uh, let's go back to our command line. And we run this. Still returns no errors, meaning that we are doing something right. And when we come back, you see the file is automatically created, even though it didn't exist. And if we open it again, we still see our text, welcome to Dev Talk with FK. Cool. Now let's see how to read from this file. I'm just going to close this. Let's delete it once again. And to read from this file, like I said earlier, we're going to be using the synchronous version of the FS functions to read from this file. Now to do that, we'll just create a new variable. We say const file content. It's file content. Let's use camera case for that. File content and the file content should be retrieved by the read file sync function. Like I said, we're going to be using the synchronous version. The read file sync function of the FS model. So what do we pass to that? We also pass our file path. Now you see why we have to get our file path in the first place. Pass our file path. I really need to get rid of this um, suggestions popping up from VS Code. So we're passing our file path, and the next thing we're going to pass in is the encoding. The encoding that we want to use for the content we want to retrieve. And for this, we're going to use the UTF-8 encoding. That's this UTF-8, not dash-8. UTF-8. Don't know whether that's the same or... Well, who knows? You can play around with that. So uh, we'll get the file content with this. Let me push this. Or let me just hide this. So we get the file content with this line and we'll just use good old console.log to print out what the content is so i'm just going to get file content into this log function let's save that and now let's go to our command line and once again run the read write node file as you can see we now have the text printed out Hello, welcome to Dev Talk with FK. So we have been able to successfully go back to VS Code. We've been able to successfully write to a file and also read the file content with Node.js. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and you can subscribe to this channel for more how-to videos on Node.js. Thanks for watching.